You can make all kinds of changes to mutable lists, such as adding and removing elements, updating existing, existing values, and moving elements around into a different order. In this video, we will start working with the modifying of the list, and we will start by appending elements. Before we start, if you want to learn Android app development, Java, Kotlin, data structures and algorithms, and other programming courses, you came to the right place. Hit subscribe to join our family and hit the bell to ensure that you don't miss any lessons. Okay, so modifying the list would be one appending appending elements okay so if we need to add more names to the to this mutable list how to add it if we need to sign up if you if you make a system for a company and you need to add new users and new subscribers or new customers and you need to add a, a sign up functionality for this uh, uh, these uh, subscribers or customers how to do that you can by using the mutable list it's very easy you can make by calling array one dot and we have many functions, as I told you in the previous videos, and we use the add function. So add function, we have here two things like element and string and index of, of type int and element string. So we can, what does this mean? You can either put a string so it will be added directly or we can add an index and the element inside it we will see the both functions don't worry i will add um like uh, what is the name like uh, sarah okay i will add sarah to the array now Let's print the func the array one, and let me sh see that if it is adding Sarah or not. And here we go, guys. Ali, Muhammad, Jack, Perla, Sarah. Sarah is add have been added to the array one correctly. But guys, see this that we are appending elements. Appending is adding the elements to the la to the last index. So at the end, okay. So let's search for the 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 last of the the end of the list, and we add it to the empty space. Think about an empty space here, and we are adding new elements inside this find this uh, array or this mutable list and at the end so appending elements is done or takes takes place at the end of the list okay this is the very important note i i should mention to um, to allow you understand the concept and the algorithm of adding elements okay now there is another way to write this if i need to add more elements to the array one as we have learned in the operators and the variables i can make array one plus equal so this plus equal means that the new element the new array is equal to the old array plus what i need to do i need to insert one element again okay so plus equal to 
uh, let me say Carl. Okay. Now let's print ln the array one to see if Carla have been added to the. And here we go, guys. You see, Carla have been added to the names array. Okay, correctly. And we are appending. So Sarah is added to the end of the list, then followed by Carl. Okay, this is the importance of understanding the different writing of this in order not to be surprised or uh, waste time searching for uh, what people made, or what people write their syntax. Okay. Now, if I need multiple, uh, if I need to add multiple data, how to do that? Okay. Uh, how to insert elements, how to uh, delete elements, or how to make some uh, modifications to this. Okay, this is the importance of understanding the data structures and how to deal with them. So in the next videos, we will start learning and the inserting elements and, uh, and the deleting elements and many of